Hello, hi everyone. Hello, what is up? Hi, how are you guys doing? So today, <coughs> I'm always coughing at you guys. Sorry. I think I'm just gonna make a series about this, you guys, about you know you're German when and this is gonna be a two-part video because there are so many points that I am going to try to hit all at once for the first part of the video and it's probably gonna be a couple minutes long and then the second part I'll just like slide right into I don't know I'll probably do like 10 in this one and then 10 in the next everything's on my phone because I have lists of everything that's just how I am I think I'm just going to get right into it so here we go the first one is the weather. That you know you are becoming German when 50 degrees is not cold. <laughs> I called my mom the other day and she was like, oh, the weather here is so beautiful. I'm like, yeah, the weather here, you know, it was sunny and nice too. She's like, what's the temperature? I'm like, 57. She's like, I could see myself at 57 degrees taking off my jacket and walking around and it feels wonderful and warm and it's beautiful. Her. The next one is that looking in the eye while giving a cheer or a toast or something when you're toasting someone like prost. If you don't look them in the eyes, there's a superstition or a myth or a saying or I don't know what it is that you will have seven years of bad sex. So if you're in Germany and someone's like prost or cheers or whatever they say, look them in the eyes, you guys, because if not, you'll have bad sex for seven years. The next one, dun 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 dun. All German people know this, and if you live in Germany, you know this. GEMA or the G-E-M-A and I don't know what it is. It's a organization, institution, little internet trolls <laughs> that try to keep you from watching everything fun on the internet, you guys. Any new Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Rihanna, Coldplay, I'm trying to think. I'm saying all these names because of, I'm just going to throw in Bruno Mars as well because I watched Super Bowl, so those are like... <laughs> Those are who I'm thinking about right now. But if you're trying to watch a very popular video, usually you cannot in Germany because the GEMA has it blocked. And it just, it's, it's, it's horrible. This one is you're accustomed to squeezing and pushing and making your way into the trains and the public transportation here. Especially, like, I've noticed in the summer and during the busy hours of the trains from like 3 to 6, it is crazy and it is really busy especially in the city center like if you are not pushing yourself into the train you're not going to get anywhere so people seriously are like holding on to here and i'll try to insert a picture of when i was in the tram i don't know if i still have it or not and in the bus and it was seriously people were standing on seats because there was no space i'm just sitting down like i'm so happy to have a chair <laughs> next point is that you know that you're becoming German when Saturday you're freaking out because you haven't gone grocery shopping yet for Sunday. <laughs> this is a big deal. You cannot buy, everything is closed on Sunday. Sunday it's a day of rest, of relaxation. Stay home and like enjoy family time, be quiet. And they really take that serious here. So grocery stores, clothing stores, anything major is not open. There's like gas stations and restaurants open, but anything major that you want to go shopping like for is not open. American people never ever believe this because then they like go out and they're like, oh, we're gonna go grocery shopping on Sunday morning. And no, that's not the case. You have to do it Saturday and everything closes. Some major cities, everything closes at eight. Some smaller cities I've seen stuff close at like five or six sometimes even earlier than that in little smaller really small cities you have to be very careful because then some days there's like holidays like during christmas this christmas it was like thursday friday saturday sunday and monday or something was closed i don't know it was just like a four four consecutive days everything was closed <laughs> and you couldn't buy groceries so everyone's like i have to go to the grocery store i must i must you understand that the deutsche mark and older people go together or back in your day when the deutsche mark and blah 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 you know it was 2000 deutsche mark that means it was basically the equivalent of 2000 euros and i'm just like oh every single time you guys when i'm talking to an older person that is about 50 years 60 years or older they're always telling me a story about the deutsche mark for all my american friends Germany has not had the euro forever. I know everyone thinks this. They think that America or that Germany has had the same currency forever. Then yeah, no, that's not true. The last point for this video is going to be David Hasselhoff. They love David Hasselhoff here. They really, I don't know, I see him on a bunch of commercials or I see him on billboards and I'm just like, what, what is this weird obsession with David Hasselhoff? 
I, I think they like Baywatch or something because <laughs> that's just, it's just really weird for me because he's not that popular in America. I mean, of course, he's very famous, but he's not as popular as he is in Germany. That's that's about it, you guys, I guess. The next part of this video will be uploaded in a couple of days or so. Thank you for watching. I'm about to go to the gym because I have my sexy gym socks on. Woo! So yes, you guys, I'm gonna go now, okay? Hi, Mima. I love y'all. Bye.